All right, I got this question a couple days ago, and this is not the first time I've seen this, so let's get into it. This coach asked me, he said, hey, hey Ben, a lot of prospects that I've reached out to that have raised their hand that said they are interested in training, they have not joined my program. How should I handle this? And I just told him, I said, hey, I'm going to make a video about this, and uh, that's what I'm doing right now. So here's my response. If you have people, and, and this is the reality, every single business owner, every single coach and trainer, you have talked to, to prospects who have decided not to join. Right? There's 0% chance that you've closed every single prospect. right? Even if you are the best salesperson in the world, you have not closed every single prospect into your program. So you should have a database of prospects who have not bought, right? And they should be on a spreadsheet. So if you don't have that set up, probably a good idea to go get that set up. And if you're really disorganized, then you probably won't find out how to get that set up because you don't remember what their numbers are, you don't know when you called them, uh, you don't have a, a lead generation system in place. So this, this will teach you to become more organized, right? So number one, we need to be organized, right? And you need to have a spreadsheet with all of your old leads, people who have said no, or people who've been on the fence, or people who've trained with you in the past that aren't trained with you anymore. They should all be on a list, right? And what we need to do though, is we need to be constantly reaching out to them, constantly re-engaging them with your program. Because right now, they're just sitting there doing nothing. And maybe when you originally talked to them, either the, the pricing wasn't right or the timing wasn't right. Maybe they had too much going on. They just couldn't commit to it. Well, when you reach out to people and you follow up with them, that shows confidence. That shows that you, as the trainer, want to help them. And it also can give them a new way of joining your program. All right, this, this comes down to being creative. If they were unable to join whatever your current offer was, well, maybe we can sit down and come up with a new offer that's more enticing to them that they do take. Maybe it's more affordable. Maybe uh, it's more flexible, like whatever it is. Or maybe it's more personalized, okay? We don't know that until we follow up with them, right? And offer them something new. But I will tell you right now, you are probably sitting on, I would say $1,000 to $5,000 of money. Like right now you're sitting on top of that money and you don't see it, right? And right below you, it's all of the, the prospects who have said no, that would love to join your program, but you are too afraid to reach out to them again, or you're being too lazy because you don't want to reach out to them. If you, look back at your list all right, that we're talking about here and you send out a simple text all right, and I have a video, it's, it's a nine word text message. Um, if you go on YouTube and go search that video, you should go watch that. Um, I go into detail about the, the exact words to say to someone who is not in your program that you want to re-engage them. All right, so go search my channel, you can find that. But if you send that message, you will absolutely get responses and you will be able to re-engage them back into your program. And you should be doing this on at like clockwork. Every 30 days, you should be following up with people who have not decided to join your program. And following up with people, like I said, shows strength. Giving up on leads shows that maybe you're not as confident in your, in your program as you think you are, right? If you think your program can absolutely transform the lives of your clients. Shouldn't you be aggressive following up with people who haven't decided to join? Shouldn't you be following up with them all of the time and not in an annoying way, but in a way that's showing them, hey, like I really wanna help you. How can we make this work? What can we give you? How can we set this up? How can we change this? All right, that shows strength. And if you want to, help more clients, you want to impact more clients' lives, well, following up is, is going to be a key ingredient to your success.
And like I said, right now there's at least one to five thousand dollars that's just right under you, and you just aren't seeing it yet. And what you can do is just take a step back today, go look at your prospect list, and uh, I know that's gonna. I mean, you're gonna make sales immediately over the next 24 hours if you take a step back, look at your list, start contacting them, um, start creating new offers for them so they can join your program. So that's it. Shoot me a text. I'd love to see how I can help you. And uh, I'll talk to you soon.